So the other aspect of the landscape of probability distributions is that it, it just has, has become so complex that a lot of modern research on probability distributions has focused on just trying to organize all the distributions. This book is, is on the bookshelves of many or most statisticians. Uh, it's first published in the 70s, uh, later revised in the 90s. I understand there's another revision they're working on. It's like 1,600 pages and tries to describe all the various uh, continuous probability distributions. Well, if you got the patience to read the 1600 pages, that's fine. But that is, and it's a great book, by the way. The book was a huge, enormous contribution, but it's a lot of work and it's very complicated. Um, second is, this is the chart, you can find this online, of Professor Larry Lemus of William and Mary has plotted a chart of all the relationships. So here's the normal distribution here. Here's the log normal. Here's the binomial. He's plotted a chart of all the various probability distributions and tried to show all the relationships so that if you have one, how can you begin to derive some of the others and what's related to what? Um, again, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic piece of work. He and his students have been working on it for, for decades and uh, it's beautiful. When he saw the metalog distribution, he said, I can't believe how simple they are because compared to this, you know, they really are. Um, a third view of organizing the world of distributions, and this is just recently published by Dr. Gavin Crooks, who uh, was working for Google X, and now I think he's back to being a professor. He might be back to being a professor at Berkeley in California, but he's got a field guide to continuous probability distributions. And once again, he's come up with his own way of organizing uh, most of the uh, significant uh, probability distributions. You can buy his book. In fact, you can even download his book for free from his website. But once again, there's a huge amount of complexity here. And what I would like to be able to offer with the Metalogs is something that would allow you not to have to dive into all of this, but rather a single family of distributions that can represent anything in any of these domains here, okay? So that's, that's the key point. It's a single set of equations that can represent any of this stuff. So rather than depend on trying to understand all these details, why don't we take a, a step forward and, and use a, a, a single set of equations that allow it to be possible um, to do so?